Hi Dresser Cuties, Wayne here. Today we're going to draw an icy drink, so let's get started. To draw this cute cup of icy, let's first start by drawing a curve for the top of our cup. So I'm going to start right here and I'll just give myself a point. And since I'm drawing pretty big, I'm just going to drag this point across and say about right here, about this wide. And I'm going to connect it with a curve. All right, here's my center. Now I can go back up, creating my big Y curve. So something like that. Then from there, I'm going to, uh, let's see here, let's go up. We're gonna use get these two points and then we're gonna go up with this dome shape. So one big curve at the top. So I'm just gonna go up nice and high to say about the center. So I'm gonna find my center and say about right here. Just kind of imagine how high I want to go. And about right there. We're going to go all the way to the top. And then we're going to start to bring it down. So when you're drawing pretty big, it just helps to give yourself points so you can see where you're going. There. So now I have this big dome in there. And then we can come back in right here and we're going to draw another dome curve, just following your top. So this is the IC itself. And in there. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come back and draw the cup. So we're gonna come right by here. We're gonna pop out a curve. So we're just giving our cup here a little lip, pop out a curve. And then, let's see here. I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And then bring this in. We're just going to follow this curve that we've created. And then from there, before I finish everything, I'm going to come right by here. Come down and we're going to draw our cup. So I'm just going to start to angle it in. And same thing here. And then now we can go ahead. Well, let's just bring this down a little bit more. The reason I need to draw this first is because we have this little part that trips out. So I'm going to come about right here and we're going to draw some icy that's dripping out. So right here, we're just going to curve, make it nice and round, bring it up. And then we're going to bring it down again. Nice big one. Get close to the edge and then up and then just wobble in there and then we can go ahead and continue our lip so just imagine it's coming through and we're just following the curve we created for the top there okay so now we have the top of our cup and then we can go ahead and finish our cup the sides of it so i'm just going to go down and i'm making my cup um short just to make it extra cute, but if you like, you can make yours much taller. So, let's keep going. And say about right here, I'll stop. And same thing here. So now that I'm at the same level, I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve at the bottom. So this is based on a little icy pin that I saw in the store that was so super cute. I felt I had to draw it for you, so hopefully you're going to like it. But the inside of the original is a penguin right here. So you can definitely draw a little penguin right here. But since it's my draw so cute icy, I decided to just put in some draw so cute eyes today. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's just work on the eyes first since I was um, that's a little bit easier. So I'm going to come about right here and draw a circle. And like I said, the original is a penguin. So you can definitely draw a penguin up here too if you like. And then I'm going to come right across nice and wide. So say about right here and draw another circle just to fill up the space. Okay, so now my two circles in, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes with two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. 
and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. And lines at the bottom. And then from there, let's go ahead and just draw a soft curve over each eye. And then in between the eyes, let's draw a sweet smile, but let's put a tongue in it because it's super yum, right? So I'm gonna come right here and just curve in and cap this off. <laughs> there. Then from there, let's see here. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's draw a straw. So about right here, I'm gonna angle in a straw. So it's going to be nice and thick and short just to make it extra cute. And here. And then from there, let's see. From there, let's go ahead. We need to draw the icy logo. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a, a blue Sharpie since the icy logo is like a dark blue just to make it a little bit easier so I can show you how to shade in some parts. So the IC logo is I-C-E-E -E and it's at a slant. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right now with the eye. So I'm totally simplifying it. So just to make it a little bit easier to draw. So let's say about right here, I'm gonna draw my eye. So it's just this rectangular shape. And so this will determine the angle of your logo. So whatever angle, so I'm just kind of following my cup just to make it a little bit easier. Then we have the C. So right next to it, I'm going to draw the letter C. We get really close to it, but not touching and go up. And so we're gonna bring it in. Bear with me here, I'm looking at the, trying to look at the original and follow it. I'm trying to simplify it. Okay, so we have the I, C, E, and then we have to draw the E. So right next to the C, draw an E. So everything is just, remember, it's all at this angle. So we've got E going about right here. So I know I have another E, so I have enough space. And bring it down. So once again, it's got angle. And then one more E right next to it. And still continuing. There, so let's see here, about right here. So we're just gonna draw the same thing we did with that E. Don't worry, this is not going to be exact. <laughs> if you're running out of room or too much room, you can make one of your letters fatter or short, uh, fatter or skinnier, depending on what you need to do. So there, okay, so basically they have the ICE and then um, one of the main things we need to do now is just to come in here and just wobble and some snow at the top. And on top of each of these letters, and then here, here, on all the arms of the E and the C. And then last but not least, what we need to do is to give it some dimension. So I'm gonna come right here, and that's why I wanted to use the blue so you could see it, and here. And then we're just gonna thicken this all up come down and connect and then we're going to do that with a C 
and bring it in and here. So I'll shake this in real quick so you can see what's going on in here. The IC logo is the most important to make it sh make sure that we know we are drawing an IC, right? Okay, so same thing here. We're just going to follow that angle. This is going to just imagine it coming down about right here. Still going across. And this, that's all going to be filled in and then here as well. And just a little break right there and continue and then here and here as well so then this is all going to be shaded in Maybe I should call this lo uh, this video how to draw an IC logo instead, right? Since we're spending so much time on it. But hopefully you feel it's worth it so I can show you how to draw this logo a little bit easier. And just shade this all in. There, we did it. So just try and make sure that you're just going at the same angle for everything. Okay, finally we're done with the logo. Now I can go back and then get my black Sharpie and then we need to draw some of these bars at the back. So um, I'll start about right here. Let's see here. I'm gonna come right about here. Just approximate. And we're gonna angle this. So let's say about here. And then bring this down. Continuing this, and this is going to cut down. And then there's this red one, the bigger one. About, well, actually, the blue one is in the foreground. So I'm going to start about right here. So once again, this is just approximate. So, and we're going to bring this down. It all right here. And then the, this longer one. So the red one is about right here. And this angles in, so. down lower about right there and then another one just approximately it's going to come out wider we're going to angle it all the way down so I'm just following my cup just to make it a little bit easier easy but <laughs> somehow I got very put it in a little bit more right here okay and last but not least I need to let's see where should I put I'll put a heart hmm I'll put a heart on my straw to make this my cute cup of icy drink I really hope you love how it turned out and that it brought a smile to your day and if I helped you draw this uh, fun and easy, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.